Morning Palisades. I'm Darren. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, day four. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Howdy. I'm Ron and I'm here with your lunch options for today. Your options today are grilled cheese sandwich, mac sticks, or chicken sandwich. If you're ordering lunch from the website, make sure you put your order in by 9.15 a.m. Please do that now if you've not done so already. Now on to Camilla and Cameron with your school announcements. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Cameron with your school announcements. Calling all United Nations diplomats. Today, March 24th at 2.30 in the Audion, there will be a model United Nations meeting. If you haven't signed up yet and are curious to see what this is all about, you are welcome to join the meeting. If you would like to pursue a higher education, the Financial Aid and Information Webinar is perfect for you. The event will feature special guest speakers from the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency. The webinar will take place on Wednesday, April 21st from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Parents and students of all ages and grades are welcome to register online and participate in the virtual event. As we near the end of the third marking period, it is important to recognize how resilient we all have been this year. The students and staff of Palisades High School have been amazing in adapting to change, overcoming challenges, and providing support to one another. We are truly superheroes. So to acknowledge the superheroes that we are, Palisades High School is designating Friday, March 26th as Superhero Day and encouraging all students and staff to dress up like your favorite classic superhero of your own version of a superhero. We want you to get creative. On this day, we also be introducing some activities for you to participate in that will spread positivity and support throughout the school. Stay tuned and we can't wait to see you as your superhero self on Friday. Hi, Mr. Wolf here. I just wanted to let you guys know there's exciting news. Something really cool is happening. We haven't had something to get excited about in a long time, right? I mean, it's been a year since the two weeks to slow the spread, right? And now we're a year later and uh, we're still wearing masks everywhere. We can't do all the things we want to do. We need to celebrate something. You guys have made it. You guys have done it. You've survived this pandemic and not only survived, a lot of you have thrived and that's awesome. And we want to celebrate the superhero in all of you. So on Friday, it's superhero day. Wear your superhero costume, be creative and make your own superhero. I'm a big fan of the National Alliance on Mental Illness and supporting, stamping out the stigma of mental illness. And so my persona for Friday is going to be Nami Man. Check him out. So you can dress up like a superhero too because we've all been superheroes over this past year. Now on to Hugh and Thomas with the latest update on March Mammal Madness. Hugh and Thomas here with the latest coverage of the March Mammal Madness. What a great end to round two with the CBCs and the of Myths and Monsters divisions. The winners for these divisions are the Anchovy, Devil Frog, Ifrit, Sea Star, Ammonite, Vampire Squid, Harpy Eagle, and Sphinx Monkey. These winners will also advance to the round of 16. Here's some of the action. The Crypt Keeper was arrived in Papua New Guinea and began exploring. She strolled along a branch and brushed against the Ifrit's nest made of plant fibers and feathers. The toxic feathers can even affect insects. The Crypt Keeper Wasp flew off, leaving the Ifrit victorious. The Pink Bent Fish traveled back in time some 47 million years, and found itself in open waters with no place to hide. It felt vulnerable, and it was. The anchovy ambushed the big fish and chomped its way to the sweet 16. Wow, that was out of this world. Now to the reaction of our science students. Hi, I'm Dakota, and I'm interviewing. This is Laflam. And today we're going to ask her what her thoughts were on March Manual Madness. So this division was uh, pretty upsetting. There were some surprises. There were um, some forfeits. The Yeti Crab just walked away and kind of took us all by surprise and, and just decided not to compete, which was a, a blow to a lot of brackets. 
Um, you can see our leaderboards are, uh, are getting up there. The students are pretty much blowing our, our teachers out of the water. Um, but it's, it's exciting. We're excited to get to the next round uh, later this week. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Ron Barger, and today I'll be interviewing Mr. Wolf on the Of Witness and Monsters in CBC's bracket. How do you feel about this bracket today? Um, I feel it was very random. Um, there was not a lot of logic that went along with the uh, with the victors, and there was a lot of uh, just ignoring the fact that March Mammal Madness was going on. Yeah, I agree. It was definitely a weird bracket. Well, hopefully we see more action like that in the Sweet 16. What a great way to end the second round with the Sea Beasties and of Myths and Monsters division. Join us on Friday as we continue March Mammal Madness with the Sweet 16 battles. Have a great day, Palisades. Hi, I'm Toby Olmstead with your entertainment news. The next segment of The Raven is nearly napping. Today's word of the day is bum fuzzle, meaning confused or flustered. Now on to Gavin with the sports results. Hi, I'm Gavin with your sports results for today. Yesterday, the Hornets had a game against the Spurs, and it was a very close game, but the Hornets came out on top with a victory of 197. Now on to Dakota with the upcoming sports. Hi, I'm Dakota with your upcoming sports. The Raptors are facing the Nuggets at 7.30. Now on to your weather with Seamus. Hi, I'm Seamus with your weather. Today will be rainy with a high of 53 and a low of 49. Here's your five-day weather forecast. And that is it for the day, so have a wonderful day, Palisades.